Let's have a sip of tea. Let's have a sip of liberty before we get started, shall we? Hey there, Hell Divers. Strike 66 here with Winston Purchill, the 15th, uh, coming to talk to you today about two exciting things happening in the world of Hell Divers 2. First of all, we've got Democratic Detonation, the brand new war bond released today, early today in the on the East Coast. And uh, I've had a little bit of a look at it as well. We've been given upgrades to the ship modules. We are now upgrading to level four on all the ship modules. We'll take a quick look at that as well. Some very exciting, one might say explosive, new options for us <laughs> in our constant fight for democracy. Uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, I've already had a little bit of experience with it today. Uh, let's first looking at a couple of the new guns. The BR-14 Adjudicator is uh, now available to us, doing 80 damage, uh, 25 capacity, uh, recoil of 50, fire rate of 550. That would probably be in full auto mode. Uh, and there are three different scopes that you can use with this particular one. Uh, also on the first level, the CE-27 Groundbreaker, uh, medium armor, servo assisted, meaning that you have extended throwing range and uh, extra limb health. Uh, super credits, a new helmet, new background. We have the G123 thermite grenade, a sticky bomb of sorts uh, that will uh, melt through the armor and then detonate. Uh, not great for factories, not probably great for bug holes, uh, but that hasn't been tested. Uh, I did manage to test it on uh, some of the medium armor guys with mixed results. Uh, generally, you needed to pop two onto them, and uh, and then you could take care of them. Um, I think there's strategies that will be useful for the G123 Thermite, um, but if you generally use grenades as a... Uh, as a way of sort of delaying the guys chasing you, uh, then uh, this is not it. Uh, there's a long delay on the explosion on this. So uh, keep that in mind. Level two on the uh, Democratic Detonation War Bond uh, sees a new expert extraction pilot uh, that's going to reduce the amount of time that the... Uh, extraction takes that's going to be specifically good on planets that are uh where your stratagems are on a delay of 25 percent or 50 percent i think that'll be helpful uh particularly at the higher difficulty levels uh on more new armor than demolition specialist uh reduced recoil and uh increasing the initial inventory of grenades by two if you are using the thermite grenades, you're going to find that you are popping them off a lot. So this may be a good armor for you if you're looking to go into that kind of strategy uh, because you need a couple of thermite grenades on uh, on a lot of the uh, enemies, in my experience. Uh, the R36 Eruptor was pretty glorious to use, not going to lie. Uh, it uh, doesn't have a great fire rate but it uh, does do some great explosive damage, so you can wipe out some guys at a distance, and uh, you can take out good chunks of them. Take out factories, and, and I think it will be good for uh, walkers, that kind of thing. The explosive damage is pretty, pretty amazing on it, uh, not going to lie. And it's got a fairly good range. Slow, you are going to want to take another weapon as your for your support weapon you're going to need something that's rapid fire like a stalwart or something like that arc thrower maybe that will uh that will take out those guys that have coming up and swarming you so keep that in mind uh the courtly bow <laughs> that's uh that's pretty brilliant uh and the usual uh the usual other uh cosmetics and then on the uh, the final side, the GP31 grenade pistol, I think, has a lot of possibilities here. I haven't played with it yet, but uh, if it can take out uh, fa automaton factories and bug holes, then that 
potentially frees you up. You can now use different grenades. Maybe you want to bring stun grenades, and uh, you can uh, your primary weapon and your support weapons are now can be changed up a little bit because the grenade pistol could help you out uh, looking uh, to take out those uh, those nests if your uh, if your other stratagems are on a cooldown. Uh, we've got some heavy armor, the uh, F. S55 Devastator, fortified, reducing uh, recoil when crouched or prone, and that 50% resistance to explosive damage, because who doesn't love the uh, the rockets coming from all of, <laughs> it feels like, from all areas of the battlefield uh, from the automatons. Uh, this is the next one, the exploding crossbow, kind of a slow fire rate, huge damage, explosive so there's going to be splash damage uh be interested to see how much uh damage this can do and how effective this is going to be against uh some of the heavies uh and some of the uh, sort of medium heavies that get out onto the uh onto the battlefields there again i'm still pretty much talking uh bots not necessarily bugs uh i do note that the uh capacity is only five on this one Capacity for the Eruptor, 5. 25 for the Adjudicator. Uh, so that's a quick look at some of the weapons on the War Bond. Let's have a quick look at the ship modules, because those are pretty exciting. So we can now open up up to level 4 on all of the ship modules. Uh, this is, I think, great. So superior packing methodology for the uh, upgrading your... Stratagems, resupply boxes, refilling support weapons with the maximum number of cartridges. Orbital cannons, the orbital HE barrage spread reduced by 15%, which is pretty sweet. Eagle stratagems that uh, drop multiple bombs will drop one additional bomb. Enhanced combustion, the fire damage from stratagems increased by 25%. This is... I haven't used a lot of fire against other anybody yet. I haven't used a lot of fire against other folks, so I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. But if fire is one of your main weapons against your enemies, then uh, this is going to be fantastic. And 25% increase against fire is uh, pretty good. As long as they're not using it against me, <laughs> I'm happy about that. Lightning arcs fired from weapons and turrets will jump to one additional enemy. Again, that may make the arc thrower... A lot more powerful. Uh, the Tesla Tower still scares the life out of me. Because um, who doesn't like being electrocuted by your friends? Who doesn't like that? I love that. Finally, uh, sentries taking 50% less damage from explosions is amazing. Because there's nothing more frustrating than dropping a sentry only to have it wiped out seconds later uh, because uh, of an incoming rocket barrage. So those are uh, some of the things that we were looking forward to. I don't have uh, numbers on these yet, but I suspect that the uh, we'll, you'll need at least 10 super rare samples to unlock these. 8 to 10 is a fair guess. Uh, I'm sure uh, we'll find that out shortly. That's going to wrap up our look at the brand new Warbond and the upgraded ship modules for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe drop a comment. Please subscribe to the channel because uh, you can get more videos just like this in the future uh, for myself and Winston Perchill. <laughs> Have yourselves a great day. We'll see you on the front line, soldier.